might have been from before, uh, like in the fall. But seeing rubs like this, you just never know. It's an animal doing it, trying to knock something off. First elk shed. And it is a nice one. You see it? So I'll have to stick around here a little bit more. That's awesome. Beautiful. A lot of sign in here. Fresh tracks on the snow, a lot of poop. <clears throat> I love hiking this sort of stuff, but at the same time, everything looks like an antler. Including the thing on my back. <laughs> Alright, let's walk in. on the base but looks like he was rubbing and found another one beautiful yeah still some blood on the base there so well we're done for the evening the two elk antlers were the only ones for the day what do we got cooking up uh Deer backstrap kebabs. Melissa had a really good idea of making kebabs for camp. And gonna use some of her deer. Over here. We've got a fire going. Yeah. So not bad. No. Alright, it's our first full day of shed hunting 2023. Seen the old guy come in here this morning to go shed hunting in a Really happy that it's him. We're just um, excited to get out there and try to scoop up some sheds. Hopefully, let's we'll get our first one. Well, that's not what we're after. But it's a really old one of what we're after. Seeing another shed hunter, he picked one up. But right now, I'm making a push. Along with Alyssa over the top. Whew. Wish us luck. Well, we are a long, long ways into our hike so far this morning. It looks like I just found my first one. Might be hard white. Yeah. Sweet. Definitely not this year's. Just shows you how much you could skip walking. Let's pull them out. So maybe just one year old. Cool, cool. Yeah, it's not new, but pack it out. You having fun? Right now we're following some elk tracks. And they just well. More specifically, bull tracks, but did not choose an easy route. And uh, still only one antler for the day, but we're going back up where we found a couple yesterday. So, just gotta get through this stuff, and we should be in the clear. Found my second one, and it's not a brown. It's another hard white, kind of chalky antler, but still an antler. It's been a long, long day so far, but it's not over. Gotta keep going. Alyssa found one right when I found mine. Woo, that's a beauty though. That's an awesome elk antler. Good job. To left. Yeah, mine so is too. That one. Well, cool. Been hiking all day. <laughs> I finally found one, so I'm taking it. Good 
good job, Alyssa. So. All right, Brant and I were headed out and then we decided to stop and go on another little hike. So we're dividing spots. Brant's going to one spot and I'm going to another. Looking for deer sheds mainly. Yeah. All right, good luck. You have to be kidding me. All day looking for elk antlers. Now I go out for a deer walk and I come across this beautiful five point brown elk shed. I am so happy about that. Nice. Keep poking around these cedars and uh, that's awesome. Oh, we took one last walk for the evening, and I'm on my way out. Found this little brown mule deer antler, broken off the back half. Whatever, not too bad. I might poke around this sage a little bit more and see if I can find any more, but a lot of boot tracks in this area. All right, cool, at least one. All right. One last walk for Alyssa and I's little three or four day adventure shed hunting. And then we'll be back up to do some more this weekend. Clayton has some spots in mind. And uh, Caleb does too, so we'll have to collaborate and make a plan. But hopefully, in this last little walk, I can snag a few more deer antlers. So I knew back when there was a lot of snow that under the cedars was uh, going to be a good choice to look and that paid off that's a super cool looking buck that frame wide it'd be really cool on the hoof but I just love how that front fork kicks off so much I mean, it's a tiny front fork, but that beam. Awesome. Maybe we'll be able to match them up. But that's what we came out here to find. I was literally just about to walk away. Walked over this and everything. And I was sitting and glassing right next to it. Real lucky I looked over one more time. Another little brown three-point. Be cool if we could start matching them up. Might look around these cedars a little bit more. Uh, not bad for an ending walk. Super happy. Let's look around right in here. Yeah, I'm not seeing this other side. Probably won't find it, but. Okay, well, it seems like we're on the downhill track for size, but managed to find one more. A little two point. And, wow, it's in relatively good condition. It's either last year's or this year. I'm thinking last year. But that's three. Not bad for like a little hour walk. And keep trying. Um, I'll do a little ending video on the truck. And uh, if we get home at a decent time today, I might walk around there a little bit. But... Not bad, super happy. This is well worth it. Okay, so explain what happened there. All right, Brant decided to go out for sheds and I had a headache and so I was, uh, I decided to glass him and watch. And then I was glad to see him and I look over and there's an antler and he walked up to that antler. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna keep on glassing. And then I go over to my right and I glassed up the other side. Yeah, she found the his... other side from way down here. Yeah, so I ran all the way up there. You're holding together. And was like... That's a nice little 4x4. Four four. Yeah. Really awesome that we were able to match them up. Great job, Alyssa. Thanks. And that's the end of our <laughs> little four-day trip. And uh, that was the end of our like hour and a half walk, four deer sheds.
Congratulations. Back at her next weekend. Yeah. All right. Russian slow pursuit, baby. Okay. So, I cannot believe this happened. We got home from our few days shed hunting and I did a little walk. And uh, I just found probably my biggest elk shed I've ever found. This thing is huge. Unbelievable. Oh my God. <laughs> you have to be kidding me. I don't know if this video is even gonna do it justice on how big this thing is. Let's go. Like a little pickup. I cannot believe I just found this thing. All right, guys. What a heck of a way to end that. That is crazy. Oh my gosh. This thing is huge. Oh, I don't even know how to describe. I need to measure how long this thing is because that is unbelievable. Look at my hand around that. Oh my God, guys, I need to try to match this guy up. I'm gonna try, he's in some bad stuff. I'm gonna try for a little bit. It's getting kind of dark and have work tomorrow, but it's definitely not the end of this journey. I have, I have to match this guy up. All right, guys, I'm gonna try for a little bit and then I'll do a little video at the end showing what we found um, in total so far. And this is just the beginning, we still have a few more weekends left, so. I don't know how I'm gonna top that though. The only way I could top that is by finding its other side. WSP, baby. Woo! All right, that's it for the, the day and the trip. This is what we found. And some, <laughs> just look at this thing compared to the others. Oh my God, it's just unbelievable. I cannot believe, like, like that's like an average six point, really nice. And then there's that thing right there. It's crazy. We did a measurement on it, 57 inches long. That really stole the show there for me. Um, yeah, we got that. And then uh, the set that Alyssa and I found. And this is a beautiful six point, but we definitely have a lot more to, to do and a lot more to find. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is Brant and Alyssa from WSP. We're gonna be meeting up with Clayton and uh, Caleb later on this month, but definitely a great time to start it off. <sighs> Plenty more to go guys.